Yes, we know January is almost over, so it's a little bit late for this, but we're still gonna tell you what we're gonna do this year. So every year at Slant 3D, we always go through and define a core set of goals that are kind of the driving projects that we're gonna be working on this year. We work on a lot of stuff, but these are the core main things that we're focusing on and have to be viewed through and get the most resources at any given time, even though we do all that other experimentation. So these are the goals that we're gonna do here, starting off with our Austin factory. We have had this on the books for a very long time, and one thing or another has always prevented it, generally good things. For example, we were meant to do Austin almost two years ago, but then the space for the mega farm in Boise, Idaho opened up, which gave us so much more space and so much more power that would have had to be built custom otherwise. But now we fully filled up the Boise mega farm and we are ready to start deploying the Austin farm. The reason this is so valuable to us is because it gets us closer to a larger metropolitan area, gives us access to a great tech community that we want to continue to engage in, and also gets us closer to the other side of the Mississippi where 80% of the US population is. And for all of our e-commerce customers and that kind of thing, it decreases shipping costs and it decreases lead times so that we can truly be a warehouse where the shelves make the product and they can get their parts within a couple of days as if it was plucked from a shelf rather than manufactured, processed, packed and shipped as it actually is. The next big core project that we're continuing to work on is our software. The pillar of this is our API. The API will allow other people to access our print farm for their applications and their websites and whatever they happen to dream up so that they no longer have to build a print farm in order to support their nightlight maker or whatever it happens to be. They can actually sell merchandise without ever actually having to hold merchandise or build a print farm. This is gonna let so many more people create products and services services that were never feasible before because they can just plug into a giant print farm without having to build a giant print farm. This is one of the most important things that we can possibly enable and we will be releasing public beta for the API very soon or early this year. And then ongoing throughout the year, we will continue to build on that API, creating demonstration apps like the print on demand app and that kind of thing to show how the API can work and what type of applications could be built that use it. A lot of that code will be open sourced and a lot of those applications will be useful to other industries that are not close to 3D printing so that other industries can use the capabilities of 3D printing without having to know the nitty gritty details of how it all comes together. Again, this helps to open it up and grow the market so that more people can use the fact that 3D printing can produce an item on demand without having to know how to 3D model a part and how to set up a print farm and how to set up shipping software for that matter. They're able to just create the thing and then plug into the infrastructure to support that thing and scale up from there. The third thing we're gonna focus on is YouTube and media. We're gonna to continue to expand this YouTube channel and have additional YouTube channels. Many of you already know about Tangled Testing, which is a testing channel where we will be evaluating filaments and print settings and sharing that data with the community to better qualify 3D printed parts because that data just is not universally out there or very broad in its scope. We hope to be able to enable that with like Tangled Testing. And then we will continue to educate people about how to produce parts for mass production 3D printing printing here on the Core Slant 3D channel. And we have a couple other projects that might be announced in the near future that we will also be pushing on this year. But the media work that we do is going to be expanded and continued to be focused on here for the next year. Fourth and last, we will be working very hard on Tangled Filament. Tangled Filament is a project that kind of sprung forth last year, but it has become increasingly necessary as we have scaled up and we've seen the industry continue to grow. Good quality low cost raw materials for mass production 3D printing are absolutely essential for us to continue to grow. So even though we will probably take it in the teeth for the next year or two in scaling up tangled filament, it is something that is so important in order to make sure that our operations are supported the way they need to be and we're able to continue to scale up and produce high quality, low cost parts for our clientele and all of the users of our various software and apps. The raw materials are one of the biggest cost drivers of parts, and right now there's just a disconnect between the supply chain and the user, us, in this. But as the industry is growing, we're gonna work with more partners and we're gonna to continue to use Tangled as a platform and a system to enable lower and lower cost raw materials so that 3D printing can continue to be cost effective with injection molding as we continue to scale up. 
while we've matched molding years ago as far as cost because of the savings of mold and shipping and all the rest of it, the cost of raw materials are multiple factors larger than the cost of raw materials for molding itself. And that has to change. And the issue has always been that the filament manufacturing industry as a whole has not been pursuing scale at the level that they should in order to drastically reduce the cost of the raw materials. By the end of this year, we do expect that Tangled will be able to produce filament for less than $13 or $12 per kilogram, and we will continue to drive that down into the new year according to that master plan to get it down to $10 per kilogram. Of course, we will continue to lower it as much as we possibly can beyond that if we can, because the cost of a pound of material should be down to just a couple of dollars in order to be competitive with traditional manufacturing. And extrusion of those pellets can feasibly do that just from a basic first principles analysis of the whole thing. So hopefully that gives you some insight as to what we're doing this year. Of course, we're gonna have all kinds of other projects that will probably come up and will be nifty things to try, which we always do, because as a startup, we have to experiment as quickly as we possibly can to find the better ideas of what we're doing and how we should be going about it. But these are the four fundamental projects that we know are necessary in order for Slant 3D to continue to scale up and continue to double every year as we always do. They're gonna be big lifts, it's gonna be a lot of work, there might be some intermittent see in some areas as we figure it out and grow these things up because they are unwieldy and we are one of the first ones doing a lot of this stuff. But in order to build a warehouse where the shelves make the product, these things are necessary. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see updates as we start slogging through this mess and give us a comment and a like down below if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it. Have a great day everybody.